Have you ever pondered the depth of sacrifice and the extent of love it signifies? Today we delve into this profound concept, starting with the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. Here we are reminded of the ultimate sacrifice, Christ's death, not just for himself, but for all. In this light, our lives become a testament to his love, living not for ourselves, but for he who died for us. This verse underscores the essence of sacrifice, transforming it from a mere physical act to a spiritual journey. It challenges us to reevaluate our lives, to reflect upon our actions, and to embody the spirit of selflessness. Sacrifice, it seems, is not merely a physical act, but a profound transformation of the spirit. How often have we yearned for reconciliation, for a chance to mend what is broken? This is a sentiment echoed in verses 16 to 19 of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. These verses encapsulate the heart of reconciliation through God's love and forgiveness. It is here that we uncover an aspect of Christ's role often overlooked. He isn't merely a figurehead or a symbol, he is a mediator, a bridge between humanity and the divine. These verses unravel the profound truth that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. This means God, through Christ, was mending the relationship severed by human failings. He wasn't imputing our trespasses onto us, but instead, entrusting us with the message of reconciliation. As if to say, here is your second chance, mend what is broken. Reconciliation, then, is not just about resolving disputes, it's about restoring harmony in our relationship with the divine. What does it mean to be an ambassador? And more importantly, an ambassador of Christ. An ambassador is a representative, a liaison, someone who stands in for another. As we delve into the final verses, 20 and 21 of 2 Corinthians 5, we find a powerful image of believers as ambassadors for Christ. Let's break this down, word by word. The term ambassador here doesn't just indicate representation, but a deep, personal identification with Christ. We are not merely acting on his behalf, but standing in his place, embodying his love, his teachings, and his righteousness. And speaking of righteousness, let's consider its significance in these verses. Righteousness is more than just being morally right. It's about aligning our thoughts, actions, and desires with God's will, being in right relationship with him. In essence, our righteousness is a reflection of God's own righteousness, a gift given through Christ. Now, as ambassadors for Christ, we are entrusted with a noble task. We are to spread his message of reconciliation, of love and of righteousness. We're not just delivering a message, we're living it. As ambassadors of Christ, we are not just representatives, but embodiments of his love and righteousness.